Hello, we're also doing a very pleasing characteristic Mediterranean gouache, which is a thickened watercolour. You, you could call it a watercolour, but it's ten, they tend to call it in the marketplace a gouache. A gouache paint dries quickly. If you're painting outdoors in the Mediterranean, you're better off with gouache. It dries fast. If you're painting with oil, it's difficult. The gouache holds very bright, vivid colours as well. For example, Ter uh, turquoises, limey greens, even pinks. To get those tones on a normal watercolour, you're going to be up against it. So you have Gir Girolamo Gianni, you have Maria Gianni, you have Ettore Gianni, you have other Giannis within the family, which is an Italian family based in Italy and Malta, painting Maltese scenes latterly, and Italian scenes and Neapolitan scenes, Naples scenes. There are also other Giannis who are not Giannis who use the name because it's a marketable name. So when you're buying a Gianni, find out which Gianni it is and look at comparable Giannis from the same artist. Look at the signatures to see if they match or are similar. And you will quite soon detect if it's bogus or authentic. So we have a Maria Gianni. It's not an early Gianni. She's not a late journey, she's a middle era journey. So she's using established coding. So for example, she's using pinks to translate into warmth and Mediterranean pleasant climate. She's using classical buildings in the code, the Roman or Greek code. She's using colorful fishing boats. There was no shortage of Mediterranean fishing, fishermen, if you look at paintings of the Mediterranean. She's using nicely painted water, it's not like Caravaggio, but you'll notice Caravaggio uses white tipped waves. So she's using different dimensions. Foreground, hill, Mediterranean sky, stripy clouds. You don't see stripy clouds a lot. But it's very, it's a, it's a good style painting cloud, painted cloud this type of painting. Distant masonry or cliffs, and as I say, this building. This is Posilippo Beach, which is north of the Bay of Naples, within the Bay of Naples, but at the north end of the Bay of Naples. This is Palazzo Santa Donna Anna, which is a, re a, a ruin of a early palace, and it is actually still there, it's still a ruin. Some of the apartments now have been refurbished, well, not really refurbished, they've been sort of made habitable, but they've been made habitable in patches. So if you go and look at it now, you'll see some bits are painted, some bits are not, some bits are ru ruined still, some bits are double glazed, some bits are masonry, some bits are restored. So it's a hell of a mess, still a hell of a mess now, but it's still there. The, the hill now behind it is urbanised, fully urbanised, all the way up the hill, hotels, villas. It was urbanised in the Victorian era, it wasn't just urban, urbanised recently. So you have a classical Neapolitan scene. You have the puffy shirts I keep talking about. Men with puffy shirts, often to the elbow. Don't get that in England. You might get a farmer with a smock, but fundamentally that's a Neapolitan thing. They have, you have a fishing boat, rather like the Maltese fishing boats. Oh, I don't think this is a Maltese fishing boat, but you have the panels of, of side missing so they can haul the net in easily. And you have the similar bow and stern, not the same as Maltese boat, but it's similar. You have the foreground with ropes. You have the beautiful colors. You have turquoises, greens in the water. In England, in the, in the, in the, in the channel, you'll get muddy browns. You do not get that color sea in England. You get it in the south of France. You'll get it around the Med, but you won't get it in England. This vegetation is lime green. And because it's a Mediterranean sunny picture, it can take vivid green colours. I've talked about the, the sunset or the dusk or the dawn, whichever way around you want to put it. That is what I would describe as Mountbatten pink, which is battleship pink. In fact, there were battleships in Malta painted that colour in the Second World War, believe it or not. Okay, so let's have another look at it. What else can I describe? Right, why did I buy this picture? I was, I was conscious there were a lot of Giannis, and it took me a long time to really understand the implications of that. And the earlier Jenk Giannis are, of course, worth more money, um, and they tend to be of a higher standard, generally. 
But this one here has drawn forward this pinkness, which I like in Maltese paintings. You see it in Girolamo Gianni, you see it in Luigi Gallia, etc. I think that is a nice thing to see. Not uncommon, but it is still a desirable thing to see, in my view, in these pictures. You have a clear signature. It's inky, an inky signature. And it's a distinctive signature. And it is um, not easy to fake a signature of that nature. Um, the colours are, as I say, very bright, very happy, very uh, flavoursome, of, 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 of favourable climate, as I say, of an exotic place. And in this particular picture, which is a quite a size, with a lot of little diddly Giannis, because, because of the colours are so vivid and crisp and clear, I thought it was one of the better ones from this artist. So we have it for sale, and I, I think it's a lovely, lovely picture to look at. It's big enough to go in a large room. You see it across the room. It's a cheerful picture. It's not one of these token Galias, for example, which are slightly uncrisp and the colours are slightly less exciting. It's a really good Maltese Italian pedigree picture of an, of an Italian scene. Frame is modern. I think the frame is probably 20 years old, something like that. It's been well framed. The framing says museum quality, museum quality acid free mount. I think that is reasonable. Um, it's a gold leaf. I think it is gold leaf or gold leaf effect on red bowl. You can see some redness showing through. Bowl is the clay under coat. You need gold leaf or water for water gilded gold leaf. The mount is cardboard, very simple. And it is a scene painted over and over again. You'll see the scene quite a lot. I've got you a plate, a porcelain plate of the same scene from that, from that place. So it's not a matter of a rare scene. This is a matter of a signed, known, collectible, collected, liked, prolific, popular Italian Maltese artist. Thanks very much.